Happy Thursday, friends. I want to talk today about packing. Everybody has a different way they do packing. Everybody likes different kinds of bags. And we don't fly ever. Like, it's been years, 20 years since I've been on a trip on an airplane. But we drive a lot. And, you know, if you know me, you know I have mom van. So... I have a specific way that I like to pack that when we go on long trips. However, during baseball season, my tried and true large utility totes don't quite work in the trunk of my van because I also need a baseball bag, a wagon, and chairs. Or if it's 100 degrees and the whole family's gone, I need three tents and coolers and all that stuff. But this weekend, Ryder's playing in an all-star game in Omaha. We're staying with friends, so we're not staying in a hotel. And it's just me and Ryder going to the game. Crystal's staying with them during the day. Henry's working in Kearney at cruise night with the snow trailer. Ramsey's going with Grandma. So I wanted to take as little stuff as possible. So I was able to get everything that we need into a small utility tote and the away for the weekender bag. This is what mine looks like. FYI, the Island Nights print is really hard to personalize because it's so bright that I wish I wouldn't have. But anyway, let me show you how I've packed this. And I have a tip and one of my favorite things to use that is not 31, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Okay, so packing cubes are my friend and they can be your friend too they keep everything organized and contained and like if we're going to a hotel I put each kid or each person in their own packing cube and then I just put the whole packing cube in a drawer when we get there and it's so much easier than digging through the bag so I don't usually like to show you things that are 31 related that are not currently available and this doesn't match well I can't get it out but I have all of Brinley's things in this packing cube, which is 31, but it's a couple years old, so you can't get it anymore. But I've and I've got all her clothes for the weekend, plus their swimming stuff and her sandals. And then this is mine, and it's got room in it, but I didn't want to mix them. Those are my clothes, which I don't need that much because. We're leaving tomorrow afternoon, coming back on Sunday, and not doing anything really except going to a baseball game. These are my bras, underwear, stuff like that. This is Ryder's with his clothes, underwear, whatever. In the bottom, I have two beach towels because they're going to swim. Now, probably, if I didn't have the towels in there, I could fit everything in this bag but um i wanted to bring the towels which those are 31 towels and you can get those they're on the sale right now celebration this is this one is starfish or no this one's striped there's a starfish one and this is a pineapple one for ten dollars and they're really nice thick very good quality towels okay so in the small utility tote i have writer's baseball uniform and his cleats, and his cleats take up a lot of room. His uniform doesn't, but the cleats do. So then we have Brinley's toiletry bag, Ryder's toiletry bag, and these are in the zipper pouches, which you know I love pouches. And this is the hanging traveler case in the Island Nights print, which matches with my toiletries, and I have I just like mine separated a little bit more and I have more of them with like travel size bottles and stuff so I don't put them in a zipper pouch and it's going to be scorching hot this weekend so I don't need to take any cold weather clothes and I also am not taking any makeup da 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 can you believe that I'm because it's gonna sweat off so what's the point so I'm not taking any makeup but Anyway, that's that's what we're packing. I will also be taking my wagon and my chair and a small bag with drinks. I'm not very good at holding this camera. <laughs> Sorry. And Ryder's cooler for his frog togs and his 
jug for his water. So we can fit all of this in the back of the van without having to fold any seats down and without having to like hurry up and close the door and run so stuff doesn't fall out, which is normally how a baseball weekend goes. But I, I probably could have got all this in one deluxe utility tote. I don't know, but I really wanted to use this one. I haven't used this one in a while. And these coordinate, they coordinate together. So the the cabana stripe and the island heights. This is my favorite print of the spring and sunder, summer, just in case you were wondering. So tell me below in the comments if you have any packing tips, tricks that you use. If I ever take a trip where we fly, I'm going to need a bunch because I've never flown with kids. But that's not happening anytime in the near future. But we are going on a trip in October to Missouri to Branson. And I'll show you how I pack then, because that's where I first started using all the large utility totes instead of suitcases, because they fit. If you have a van, if you have a minivan, ours is a Chrysler Town & Country. That's not a, a new one, but or it's not super new, but the large utility totes fit in the back hole just perfect. You can get three, maybe four, I can't remember, across the back and put the lids on them and then you can stack things on top of them nice and evenly it works so much better than all these different size bags and that's when I started collecting them years ago and now I have oodles and oodles and oodles <laughs> of bags but anyway so that's just that's how I'm gonna pack for the weekend I just wanted to do a quick video and let you know that I like to keep things separated and as organized as possible. It doesn't always come home as organized as it goes, but that's a little bit easier because pretty much everything when we come home goes straight into laundry and it doesn't need to be organized. So anyway, have a good night guys. Bye.